In this session, we'll be detailing you about gram staining. Now, gram staining is one among the staining process for the bacteria. We stain the bacteria and we classify them into two different groups called gram positive and gram negative. So, first of all, we understand why gram staining. The gram staining because of the very important name of this person called Hans Christian Gram. And Hans Christian Gram has developed this staining process and that is what we are calling it as gram staining. Now gram staining classifies the bacteria into two different groups. One is gram positive, next is gram negative. Why positive and negative? What happens is we need to treat them with the crystal violet and the bacteria which will be retaining the color of crystal violet which is purple blue color will be called it as gram positive. And during the experiment, if that bacteria loses the gram staining, I mean the crystal violet color, and if it takes up the second dye, which is saffronin, which is of red and pink color, if it becomes red and pink after the experiment, it is called gram negative. So the bacteria which is keeping up the gram stain, it is called gram staining, gram positive bacteria. The bacteria which will be not retaining with the gram stain and which will be decoloring and taking the new stain, which will be called it as gram negative bacteria. What happens in the process? That first of all, you need to heat fix the bacteria. You need to take that bacteria, you put the bacteria somewhere here, put over the cover slip and just give it a little flame. Just pass on on a flame so that the bacteria will remain fixed there. After the fixation, you will have to help, you will have to have this crystal violet. The crystal violet is also called primary stain because this is the stain you are using in the experiment for the first time. It is also called primary stain. When you color, cover this particular this bacteria, you will have to add iodine solution. Now iodine solution forms a complex with crystal violet which is called crystal violet iodine solution complex and the bacteria it allows, iodine allows the crystal violet to settle down. Every time you will have to give the washes with water and thereafter you will have to decolorize bacteria. For the decolorization you may use any of the organic solvents like acetone or ethanol. And after that you will have to stain with the secondary dye which is saffronin. So this was primary dye and this is saffronin is the secondary dye. And thereafter you will have to observe the bacteria colony which was there in the what you call your slide. You will have to observe it under the microscope if it looks purple blue color which is of crystal violet it is called gram positive. And if it is taking up the saffronin color which is red pink color it is called gram negative. Now we need to understand that why gram positive is taking this color, why gram negative is taking this color. I've already explained you that there are surface structures and like there are bacterial layers and you can talk about this is cell membrane. After cell membrane you will have the peptidoglycan layer and I've told you in some bacteria you will have the third layer which is called glycocalyx layer. So gram negative is the bacteria which has got three layers but when you talk about gram positive bacteria you will have cell membrane and you will have uh, what you call peptidoglycan layer but there is no glycocalyx layer while mentioning you glycocalyx layer I've told you that glycocalyx layer may not be present in some bacteria those some bacteria are actually gram positive bacteria where you don't have the glycocalyx layer so to protect now what is there this is cell membrane so this is also cell membrane here this is peptidoglycan layer this is peptidoglycan layer and this is also peptidoglycan layer but outside you have one more layer which is glycocalyx layer which is not here so the cell envelope of gram positive is two layered, the cell envelope of gram negative is three layered. Now what happens to protect this particular bacteria, there are only two layers, so the peptidoglycan contained should be more, this peptidoglycan layer should be thick enough. And this peptidoglycan layer is 10 times thicker than gram negative bacteria. Now what happens when you add crystal violet solution? The time you are adding crystal violet solution, here the peptidoglycan is getting color and here the glycocalyx is getting color. The time you are adding the iodine solution, iodine solution is allowing it to fix up. So iodine solution will fix up the crystal violet layer. Now the time you use acetone or ethanol, you must be knowing this glycocalyx layer which is made up of carbohydrate and lipids. The lipids are soluble in organic solvents. So the lipids will dissolve. When the lipids will dissolve, the color will also dissolve. So it will be decolorized after the decolorizer called organic solvent. The color will go. The color of crystal violet will go from the gram negative bacteria. But gram positive, the peptidoglycans are not dissolvable in organic solvents and all. So the color is still there. So when you add the saffron in, 
the bacteria which will be taking the color which is decolorized so the bacteria which has decolorized is gram negative will be taking the new color which will be pink or red color and will be looking pink or red this bacteria will not be taking color because already the color is there and this will be still looking as purple blue color so this summarizes up the bacteria into two different classes now one more thing i'll tell you here because I've told you penicillin affects the peptidoglycan layer and here the peptidoglycan layer is the second layer. Here the peptidoglycan layer is outermost and here the peptidoglycan in gram-negative bacteria is the second layer. So gram-negative bacteria are resistant, more resistant to what you call penicillin. Not exactly resistant but they are actually less sensitive to penicillin drug. Well, they are more sensitive to penicillin drug. So in next session we'll be detailing you about different bacterial life processes.